So in this session we're going to be focusing on a basic technical analysis um, that beginners can use when analyzing a share. Now it's important that you already pulled up your share. So in this example once again we're using Bright as an example and what we're going to be looking at is there are four main things um, for a beginner when doing an analysis. Number one, you always add your 200 day moving average that 200 day moving average should equal a bullish trend that's what you're searching for the second you're looking for a share which cycle is low the third thing that we're going to be focusing on is called your MACD and the fourth thing is going to be your stochastic oscillator if you don't know what the MACD is or you don't know what the stochastic oscillator is please refer back to the technical tube of MACD and stochastic to see how you should be analyzing those things so this is just once again going to be a technical basic interpretation of how you can do a basic foundational technical analysis on a share so you'll notice at the bottom I already have my views if you don't know how to set up your views go and watch the technical tube of how to set up views um, I already got my MACD and stochastic up there so I'm just gonna click on my stochastic and MACD now they already added on now you'll see that I'm focusing currently on a specific um, part of uh, bright uh, which is our main focus is going to be before 2015 uh, as indicated over here my main focus in this technical tube is going to be on this section over here um, and the reason why I want to focus on this section is because this section of the share has a huge impact on where the share currently is sitting at so as it moved up as indicated by the arrow now what we want to do in a technical analysis is we said we had four foundational things now normally what I try and do is just to answer yes to all four of those things so I wanna as an example I want to answer yes to the shares in a bull trend yes the shares in a low cycle yes the MACD that cross over yes the stochastic that cross over so I try and get four yeses um, when doing a technical analysis so we're still missing one thing I still need to add my 200 day moving average so what you do is you should click on indicators you click on moving average and the default section um, for the moving average is already on 200 days so we leave it as is now the main idea here is we want to try and get the bull trend is the share currently in a bull trend or in a bear trend so when looking at this line you'll notice that this line as indicated by the arrow is currently in a bull trend so we've got one yes then looking at the cycle now I specifically want to focus on this part as I said as indicated by the block this is the part that we're focusing on we're not focusing on the result of this um, we're only focusing on this block so within this block there happened something so after we had this downwards movement from this point over here going down to this level over here we saw a down movement on the stochastic moving down and then a down movement on the MACD as well now what we said is number one I need to answer is the share in a bull trend it is most definitely in a bull trend and it's indicated to me by this 200 day moving average moving up the second thing that I want to look at is where I say is the cycle low now what we mean when we talk about a low cycle is I'm basically saying when you're analyzing the share is the share currently cheaper than it was at its previous high so when looking at the share it was trading at this level now it's down to this level over here right so the cycle is most definitely low so we answer yes on that then the next thing is that my MACD cross over my red line and we did explain that in the technical tube of MACD so we get a yes because the crossover happens here and the same goes for the stochastic the crossover happened where the stochastic crosses its red line in a positive upward motion at or below 20 percent over here and it's indicated by the arrows but the important thing is that you need to note if I use my cross S to show you look at the vertical line you want to see your MACD crossing over as well as your stochastic you want all of these four things to be in a correct position now if you did get it right if you if your share did conform to those four things and you did get a yes and you did buy the share you ultimately had 
a huge performance. So what we can do is, if you looked at the crossover points and if you bought the share there, we can do the analysis um, and I can show you the amount of gain we made if you bought the share at the right technical time. So at that position, up until this peak over here, we had in 22 days, 25% growth just because we did our technical analysis right and we looked at the share and said um, the underlying trend is bullish, the share cycle is low, we had a crossover of the MACD and we had a crossover of the stochastic. Now this goes to show this doesn't always happen. We don't always see this sort of movement. So we do get times where the stochastic is for instance not below the 20 percent where we have it in this situation over here but we have the MACD in the right position so I've got about three out of four yeses which is still fine but the stochastic was never at a point when I did say yes that this position was a position which is fine to get the share or to buy it it was still under value I didn't see that the stochastic was trading above the 80 percent level which was overbought so it is something that one needs to take into consideration when you do technical analysis. It will not always conform to the theory as per book how you should analyze the MACD and stochastic. You need to um, have an adaptive perception on technical analysis and adapt to how the share is moving. But one key thing that we at Share Tracking found was there's one of two problems that subscribers have it's selection and timing that's the two main problems that investors have now normally it's not selection the problem tends to be timing your timing is very crucial now if you're watching this technical webinar on the basics of a technical analysis and you know you've made a loss on a share I would advise that you would go and do a technical analysis as we've just explained and try and see the time when you bought the share did you get four yeses when doing a technical analysis. Now remember, this is just a basic form. You get more and more advanced um, technical analysis than this, but this is the pure basic form of doing a technical analysis. So go and look it up. If you still struggle, you can phone the support um, personnel immediately. Do go and watch the technical tube if you do not understand the MACD or the stochastic.